All right, guys, welcome to the new training cycle. So this new training cycle is a volume slash hypertrophy phase. Um, the volume builds up quite quickly, but I start um, pretty low volume. So this is um, a combination of day one and day two. Um, so first exercise was deadlifts for three by five at 140 kg. Um, so that's not much volume, but every week I'm going to be adding two sets until I end on a nine by five. So that last week's going to be absolute hell. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so basically it's week one is three by five, bit of an introductory week, um, pretty low volume in terms of my main lifts. Um, and then we'll go five by five next week, seven by five, and then nine by five. Um, and that's going to be for majority of the compound exercises, not all of them, um, but majority of them. Um, so the reason I start low is just as in on a three by five is so I don't create too much of a fatigue deficit right off the bat. Um, and the previous two weeks were pretty chill weeks. They're almost like two weeks deload because um, this past weekend I went away camping. Um, me and my friends kind of put on a little camping trip where we invite lots of people and we, we um, uh, bring the, the decks and speaker set up and play music and, and whatnot. Um, and I didn't want to start the hypertrophy phase and then go into that weekend. Um, so took about two week deload slash testing over those two weeks um, and then got into it after. So the reason why I didn't want to start it in those previous two weeks is because for that weekend, um, I did, I, I knew that I was going to be um, drinking a, a decent amount. Um, I try not to overdo it. Like I do enjoy a drink every now and again, but I try obviously not to overdo it because it's not great for training, um, but I knew that weekend I was going to be and I didn't want to do that while I was super fatigued. Um, so if you know you're going to go somewhere and you want to you know, let loose a little bit and have a few drinks, um, you can plan that into your training um, so that you don't affect the training too much and so that you, know, you can still enjoy life. Um, but that's also why I'm doing this lower volume week to start, this reintroductory week. Um, to get myself used to a little bit more in the, into the volume phase, um, but not to obviously overdo it, but also because I knew it was going to be a little bit rough after that weekend. Um, so next is three by five pause front squats at 85 kilos. Um, again, same thing with this one, three by five this week, five, five, five the next week, so on and so on until I get to the nine by five. So I hadn't done uh, front squats in quite a while. Um, and I was quite out of breath when these, um, but I'll, I'll get quite, I'll get used to it. Um, after not long, I'm just not used to, to having the bar in that position. So I'm recording this, um, the day after and, oh, sorry, two days after. And, um, my gosh, I am glad I started on the lesser volume side because I am sore everywhere. I actually started cramping my adductors after this set. I think I was a little bit dehydrated. Um, and yeah, I understand why, because my adductors, my quads, my glutes, my hamstrings, everything is extremely sore. So here you can see me stretching my adductors because yeah, I was starting to cramp quite a bit. Um, so with the accessory exercises, I still started those on the normal um, volume range in terms of sets and reps. Um, but with those exercises, I'm going to keep the sets and reps the same, but increase the weight. So after this, I forgot to record it, but I did four sets of 15 on the leg extension. And then I did four sets of 15 on the um, glute abduction machine. So again, with those, rather than adding sets or reps for that, that's just, I'm just going to go up in the weights for that one. Um, deadlifts and front squats like in this video i'm going to go up adding sets but keeping the the weight the same and the reps the same and i'll talk about all the other ones uh exercises and, and what i'm doing when they come up um so yeah this was the last set of front squats and it was brutal all right now we're on to day two so day two was my dunk session um the dunk session kind of moves around a little bit um i did it 
the second day, which was a Wednesday, because I started my week on Tuesday because I was still away on the Monday. Um, didn't get back till late afternoon. So I'm cramming my uh, sessions into this week. So did the dunk session um, on the Wednesday. And I actually combined this with my upper body session, which um, you'll see after this. But yeah, it was a pretty pretty decent dunk session, to be honest. Like nothing crazy, but I still jumped well. Um, even with the amount of fatigue that I had after that training session and after the weekend. Got a nice cool slow-mo here. But my vert in this volume phase is probably going to drop quite a bit. There's going to be a lot of fatigue building up. I haven't done a volume phase in quite a while either. And yeah, I was um, pretty pretty damn sore in this, this dunk session as well. Um, so yeah, so the, the schedule is pretty much going to be legs Monday, uh, upper Tuesday, legs Wednesday, upper and dunk session Thursday, or just dunk session Thursday, um, legs Friday, and then upper Saturday. Um, but the one upper and one uh, dunk session is going to kind of move around depending on the schedule. Um, and I think where I do my uh, dunk sessions will actually be fully booked for two weeks because that tends to happen when it comes up to school holidays. So here I'm doing three sets of five of pause bench at 80 kilos. And again, same as the deadlifts and the front squat, I'm going to be adding two sets a week until I do a nine by five. Um, so that's going to be pretty brutal on the bench as well. So ideally, if the uh, courts are fully booked, um, I haven't decided, but I will either do an outdoor session um, if I can, but the courts are pretty slippery where I do those. Um, or I might just do some max effort jumps in the gym. Um, or I might potentially not jump. I don't really want to do that. Um, but I might not jump and just save that energy over the two weeks for the volume phase because it's going to be quite a lot. Um, so now I'm doing weighted pull-ups at um, 15 kilo with a 15 kilo plate. Three sets of five of this, adding two sets each week. Um, but I only recorded two of the sets here because I forgot to record the first one. So I haven't done weighted pull-ups in a long time. Elbows were feeling good. Um, and then I moved over onto penle rows. Um, this is going to be a similar thing. Three sets of five, adding sets each week. Um, form was okay here. Back was a little bit rounded. Flattened it out a bit more here. Um, I'm just doing these for a bit of variety, a bit more just overall strength because you're just pulling straight from the ground. Um, not loading my back too much like an like a bent over row can because I'm I'm resting it on the ground in between each one. Um, but yeah, overall I, I like how these feel. Um, so keen to see how they go. But yeah, that is the first two days of this cycle. The only exercise I didn't record for that upper session was um, four sets of 15 um, lateral raises on uh, the machine. Thanks for watching.